Hi, this is John from sandblastingmachines.com, and today we're going to discuss the inner workings of our Klemco Classic Blast Machines, the Blast Pot. Acting as the reservoir for our media, this maintains the needed pressure to sustain blasting. The Nozzle, available in different varieties for different applications. These components allow for media to be discharged at different velocities and to varying degrees of spread. The media, silica-free abrasive, ranging from broken glass to small pieces of rubber to apricot pits. Choosing the correct media is essential to achieving desirable results. The inlet and outlet valves. These valves are very intricate, expensive components of the blast machine. They monitor the inflow and outflow of air and determine whether or not the pot is pressurized. The pop-up valve. Working closely with the inlet and outlet valves, this valve responds to the pressure being input through the system. Once internal pressure reaches 50 PSI, this valve pops up and pressurizes the pot. The media valve. This valve is responsible for metering the media into the blast hose. There are various types of valves for different media types. The abrasive trap. Fitted with a cone-shaped filter, the abrasive trap prevents abrasive from traveling through your outlet valve. This protects your equipment and ensures no blockage. The air filter and moisture separator. This keeps the flow of abrasive smooth and moisture free. This accessory is optional, but recommended for humid environments. The choke valve. Depending upon how much air the user wants to reach the nozzle, this valve can be adjusted to your liking. The hoses. Comprised of the 18 inch hose, twin line hoses, and blast hose. These three hoses maintain pressure and carry both air and media to the nozzle. We'll go into further detail later. Finally, the RLX control handle. This is the most important part of your sandblasting setup. The RLX control handle is designed by Klemco to be the safest, most efficient blast controller on the market. Let's go into more detail here. After the abrasive has been added, a series of events must occur before blasting begins. The twin line hoses run from the inlet valve to the control handle. When the handle is not engaged, air is released at its base. This is indicated by the blue arrows. When the handle is pressed down, the rubber button bumper seals off airflow. Sending the air signal back through the twin line hoses and into the inlet valve. In turn, this signals the inlet valve to open and the outlet valve to close. Simultaneously, the pop-up valve seals the blast pot and blasting ensues. 